650 people lived in Heidemühl in Brandenburg. Now their peaceful village is being leveled to make way for a mine. More mining activity is being planned in the area. But this woman is fighting back. Petra Rösch has been breeding livestock in nearby Poshim since 1991, and her farm employs 90 people. Petra says she's not giving up her home. I was born in Proshim. My family's roots go back years and it's my home. No money in the world can compensate for that. The expansion of a mine close to Proshim is threatening to destroy Petra's home. The brown coal reserves will be used to supply a power station in nearby Spremberg. Lutz Picard and Toraf Schilmer say the increase in mining operations in the region is necessary because the power station requires enormous amounts of lignite to keep it running. Our coal consumption is 36,000 tons a day. That's 12 million tons of brown coal we need every year for the production of energy, steam and district heating. The plant is owned by the Swedish power company Vattenfall. With the help of politicians, they want to get at the lignite reserves in the area. If you assume that our power plants will continue to operate at the current capacity, which we have to assume, then we're sure that reserves from the currently approved mines will be exhausted by the middle of the 2020s. The company is relying on these people to force through their plans. Local politicians and organization representatives are meeting in the region. Their task is to make a convincing case that destroying more wildlife and displacing more people are necessary to ensure a stable supply of electricity. Uwe Sell works for the state of Brandenburg. He says that at the moment, lignite is essential. The aim is, of course, to be able to support ourselves in the long term with renewable energy. But the fact is, demand for energy is currently higher than what can be supplied by renewable sources alone. Back in Proshim, Petra Rösch sees things differently. She's convinced the gap in supply could be covered. Alongside the farm, she started her own green energy company. Her resistance to the energy giants is backed by locals. Only a few of the people affected are happy to be relocated. We've already begun making the move towards renewable energy. This would mean tearing up plans for past methods, mining coal and erasing the steps we've already taken in terms of sustainable sources. While Petra goes on the offensive, many in the village of Taubendorf are despairing. If the plans go ahead, they'll be surrounded by diggers on three sides. What will become of us? What will we do about the dirt, the noise and the mess? Now the villagers are hoping that politicians can throw a spanner in the works for the energy company's plans. They've recently installed a memorial bell. It's a paradox to grant brown coal a future. Politically, it's dead. But it's having one last throw of the dice, and that's what we're seeing. It's unreasonable. Wind energy is part of Brandenburg's long-term energy strategy, but the state still relies heavily on brown coal. New mines are being planned, at least until 2050. Residents of Heidemühl have had to leave their homes, along with people from 135 other places. They're being moved to areas where the fields are still green, here, with local politicians, residents of Proshim view the land set aside for them. Some see displacement as a small price to pay for an industry that provides thousands of jobs. 
Here we've got an economic strength that we need and have to use. That's surely a reason for some politicians and citizens to back the brown coal industry and to fight for energy production through brown coal. That energy industry is transforming some old mining sites into lakes. But it's turning nearby rivers brown. Thomas Burchardt fears that more mines will ruin local waterways. If the mine is put here, groundwater will become undrinkable, and the surface water is a brown. This is how water is currently flowing into the spray forest, where it's making it difficult to market the place as a tourist destination. Petra Rösch is refusing to give up. She says she's not interested in relocating. The mining group wants to swallow up our village and won't reconsider. Why should I deal with them if I don't want that? People here are intent on fighting the power companies until the end. But it's a fight that many others in the region have already lost.